Hey guys, welcome to SystemControlTech.com. Today's topic is going to be on the use of schedules and the relationship they have with calendars. Calendars in the software can greatly help you in your scheduling efforts. They can make your scheduling much more efficient, especially if you have multiple rooms that must be scheduled. They can be quickly done by the use of a calendar. One of the things that we're going to look at here, first of all, is we have one of our VAV rooms. The point that turns the VAV on for it to control our space temperature at, to our set point is the occupancy command. If the room is occupied during the daytime, it will be on to maintain the particular room set point, which in this case is 72 degrees. Now, the way that we bring this on uh, to keep us from having to get up real early and go in and actually manually turn on each one of these is we use schedules. We let the computer do the work for us. This particular room here is controlled by this schedule and if we pull this schedule over we see that we have a period of a start time for the room and we also have a period for when it goes off of course this one is very late at night due to the nature of the way it, this particular room is used now within our schedule we have a lot of features that can be used these schedules can be set up to run just for an effective period currently it's any day any year we use these schedules basically year-round and then just modify them however you can have one schedule for summer one schedule for winter or however will uh, work for you now then this schedule is controlling several boxes of course here we see the box that we were looking at just moments ago is right here. It is this scheduled point right here. Now each one of these boxes, each one of these VAVs will be controlled by the schedule. When it is commanded on, it will command on each of these boxes that is in this list. They can easily be added or subtracted by these two here when we are editing. One of the other features about schedules is during special event times we can use the exception date where we can actually go in and enter a specific date. If we wanted to run the box for just a couple of hours tomorrow we can go in here and set a particular date by the month, by the day, by the year, or even by the day of week we can go a date range where we can have it run through a series of days we can go a particular week and day there's a lot of functionality on it one that is very helpful that I find myself using very regularly is the calendar reference one of the things that we will do on certain buildings is when we have a large amount of rooms that need to be scheduled all at once for example during our holidays when we are turning off our systems to save energy we will use this calendar reference I'm just going to cancel out of here because we already have one in this particular schedule as you see here this is a calendar reference here we can see that this calendar is actually this one here this is our shutdown calendar now these work exactly like an exception schedule if you were to go in and put in a particular day or whatever you can do a series of schedules and all those schedules can then be tied to the same calendar instead of having to go into each individual schedule and set up a particular runtime now then what you will do when you are doing this instead of the schedule 
looking at a particular date to run for the time frame that you would enter here which there again this is a shutdown calendar but say if it was something where we wanted it to be running uh, for an event or something like that we can set our occupied unoccupied time here you know bring it on whenever we need it turn it off whenever we need it now then by tying this schedule to a calendar what we can do is really simplify a lot of things the holiday schedule the holiday shutdown calendar is going to be the example because instead of having to go into each one of these schedules and set up a date where they are going to be off like during our holidays when nothing is running we simply tie each of these schedules to this calendar and then when it is tied to that particular calendar we set up a time for that calendar for that particular schedule to be unoccupied for that entire day and then by simply editing that calendar going in and simply highlighting and then saving whatever date we highlight so if I wanted today I can just highlight today I can hit save and it would actually go through and change the way that it is that schedule is running but we're not going to do that because we have people in the building right now so this is a very helpful tool in simplifying a lot of your scheduling it makes it much more efficient the calendar works just like an exception schedule but instead of setting a particular day or month or any particular date it will simply cause this schedule to look for the dates which are highlighted in a calendar now then once that schedule is tied to a particular calendar you will then use this down here to set your time now once you have that time set there's no need to edit it unless you know some need arises say if you're having an event and uh, normally an event say at a stadium or something is pretty much all day say then if your event is going to be uh, if your events later in the year are not as long as some earlier in the year you may want to go through your schedules and then on that calendar pull them all back some but it can really simplify as you can see here we have quite a few schedules and by tying them all to that one calendar we save a lot of we save ourselves a lot of time these schedules can get quite unique we can get quite a few of these in some buildings and it is really helpful to simplify as much as we can when we are doing these schedules as you can see this is just one building here this is just two floors in one building all the number of room schedules by doing this by taking it to this level we are able to really control energy usage and our demand is way down because of what we're doing here I hope this helps you to better understand the scheduling process the function of schedules how they are related to the VAVs as well as air handlers and I hope this helps you to better understand how the calendars relate to the schedule as well for more information visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com thank you Oh, 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 oh,